Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bukurim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is November 13th, and we will be reading from Ezekiel chapter 27 verses 1 through 36 and chapter 28 verses 1 through 26, Hebrews chapter 11 verses 17 through 31, Psalm chapter 111 verses 1 through 10, and Proverbs chapter 27 verses 15 through 16. Let's begin. Ezekiel chapter 27 verses 1 through 36. Yahweh's word came again to me, saying, You, son of man, take up a lamentation over Tyre, and tell Tyre, you who dwell at the entry of the sea, who are the merchant of the peoples to many islands. The Lord Yahweh says, You, Tyre, have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They have made all your planks of cypress trees from cedar. They have taken a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you. They have made your oars of the oaks of Bashan. They have made your benches of ivory inlaid in cypress wood from the islands of Kittim. Your sail was of fine linen with embroidered work from Egypt, that it might be to you for a banner. Blue and purple from the islands of Elisha was your awning. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your roars. Your wise men, Tyre, were in you. They were your pilots, the old men of Gebel, and its wise men were your repairers of ship seams in you. All the ships of the sea, with their mariners, were in you to deal in your merchandise. Persia, Lud, and Put were in your army, your men of war. They hung the shield and helmet in you. They showed your beauty. The men of Arvad with your army were on your walls all around, and valiant men were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They have perfected your beauty. Tarshish was your merchant by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches. They traded for your wares with silver, iron, tin, and lead. Javan, Tubal, and Meshach were your traders. They traded the persons of men and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. They of the house of Togarma traded for your wares with horses, war horses, and mules. The men of Dedan traded with you. Many islands were the market of your hand. They brought you horns of ivory and ebony in exchange. Syria was your merchant by reason of the multitude of your handiworks. They traded for your wares with emeralds, purple, embroidered work, fine linen, coral, and rubies. Judah and the land of Israel were your traders. They traded wheat of Minas, confections, honey, oil, and balm for your merchandise. Damascus was your merchant for the multitude of your handiworks, by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches, with the wine of Helbun and white wool. Vedan and Javan traded with yarn for your wares, bright iron, Kasha and Calamus were among your merchandise. Dedan was your trafficker in precious cloths for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were the merchants of your hand, in lambs, rams, and goats. In these they were your merchants. The traders of Sheba and Rehama were your traders. They traded for your wares with the chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran, Cana and Eden, the traders of Sheba, Asher and Kilmad were your traders. These were your traders in choice wares, in wrappings of blue and embroidered work, and in chests of rich clothing, bound with cords and made of cedar among your merchandise. The ships of Tarshish were your caravans for your merchandise. You were replenished and made very glorious in the heart of the seas. Your roars have brought you into great waters. The east wind has broken you in the heart of the seas. Your riches, your wares, your merchandise, your mariners, your pilots, your repairers of ship seams, the dealers in your merchandise, and all your men of war who are in you with all your company which is among you will fall into the heart of the seas in the day of your ruin. 
At the sound of the cry of your pilots, the pasture lands will shake. All who handle the oars, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea will come down from their ships. They will stand on the land and will cause their voice to be heard over you and will cry bitterly. They will cast up dust on their heads. They will wallow in the ashes. They will make themselves bald for you and clothe themselves with sackcloth. They will weep for you in bitterness of soul, with bitter mourning. In their wailing, they will take up a lamentation for you, and lament over you, saying, Who is there like Tyre, like her who is brought to silence in the middle of the sea? When your wares went out of the seas, you filled many peoples. You enriched the kings of the earth with the multitude of your riches and of your merchandise. In the time that you were broken by the seas, in the depths of the waters, your merchandise and all your company fell within you. All the inhabitants of the islands are astonished at you, and their kings are horribly afraid. They are troubled in their face. The merchants among the peoples hiss at you. You have become a terror, and you will be no more. Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 1 through 26 Yahweh's word came again to me, saying, Son of man, tell the prince of Tyre, the Lord Yahweh says, Because your heart is lifted up, and you have said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, in the middle of the seas. Yet you are man, and not God, though you set your heart as the heart of God. Behold, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is hidden from you. By your wisdom and by your understanding, you have gotten yourself riches, and have gotten gold and silver into your treasures. By your great wisdom and by your trading, you have increased your riches, and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, the Lord Yahweh says, because you have set your heart as the heart of God. Therefore, behold, I will bring strangers on you, the terrible of the nations. They will draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom. They will defile your brightness. They will bring you down to the pit. You will die the death of those who are slain in the heart of the seas. Will you yet say before him who kills you, I am God? But you are man, and not God, in the hand of him who wounds you. You will die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it, says the Lord, Yahweh. Moreover, Yahweh's word came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation over the king of Tyre, and tell him, The Lord Yahweh says, You were the seal of full measure, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you. Ruby, topaz, emerald, chrysolite, onyx, jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and beryl. Gold work of tambourines and of pipes was in you. They were prepared in the day that you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covered. Then I set you up on the holy mountain of God. You have walked up and down in the middle of the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways from the day that you were created until unrighteousness was found in you. By the abundance of your commerce, your insides were filled with violence, and you have sinned. Therefore, I have cast you as profane out of God's mountain. I have destroyed you, covering cherub, from the middle of the stones of fire. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You have corrupted your wisdom by reason of your splendor. I have cast you to the ground. I have laid you before kings that they may see you. By the multitude of your iniquities, in the unrighteousness of your commerce, you have profaned your sanctuaries. Therefore, I have brought out a fire from the middle of you. It has devoured you. I have turned you to ashes on the earth in the sight of all those who see you, all those who know you among the peoples 
will be astonished at you. You have become a terror, and you will exist no more. Yahweh's word came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward Sidon, and prophesy against it, and say, The Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I am against you, Sidon. I will be glorified among you. Then they will know that I am Yahweh, when I have executed judgments in her, and am sanctified in her. For I will send pestilence into her, and blood into her streets. The wounded will fall within her, with the sword on her, on every side. Then they will know that I am Yahweh. There will be no more a pricking briar to the house of Israel, nor a hurting thorn of any that are around them that scorned them. Then they will know that I am the Lord Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh says, When I have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered, and am sanctified in them in the sight of the nations, then they will dwell in their own land, which I gave to my servant Jacob, they will dwell in it securely. Yes, they will build houses, plant vineyards, and will dwell securely when I have executed judgments on all those who scorned them all around. Then they will know that I am Yahweh, their God. Hebrews chapter 11 verses 17 through 31 By faith, Abraham, being tested, offered up Isaac. Yes, he who had gladly received the promises was offering up his one and only son, to whom it was said, Your offspring will be accounted as from Isaac, concluding that God is able to raise up even from the dead. Figuratively speaking, he also did receive him back from the dead. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau, even concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped leaning on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when his end was near, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden for three months by his parents because they saw that he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to share ill treatment with God's people than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a time, considering the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. For he looked to the reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, that the destroyer of the firstborn should not touch them, by faith they passed through the Red Sea as on dry land. When the Egyptians tried to do so, they were swallowed up. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. By faith Rahab the prostitute didn't perish with those who were disobedient, having received the spies in peace. Psalm chapter 111 verses 1 through 10 Praise Yah! I will give thanks to Yahweh with my whole heart in the counsel of the upright and in the congregation. Yahweh's works are great, pondered by all those who delight in them. His work is honor and majesty. His righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wonderful works to be remembered. Yahweh is gracious and merciful. He has given food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice. All his precepts are sure. They are established forever and ever. They are done in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has ordained his covenant forever. His name is holy and awesome. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. All those who do His work have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. 
Proverbs chapter 27 verses 15 through 16. A continual dropping on a rainy day and a contentious wife are alike. Restraining her is like restraining the wind, or like grasping oil in his right hand. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Lord, you are high above all nations, and your glory above the heavens. We praise you, Abba Father, and thank you for the unmerited grace, mercy, and favor that you bless us with. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done, or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment, and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will. Denounce our sinful nature. Lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Lord, forgive us for every time we frustrated your grace. Even in those times, you were merciful towards us and did not give us the judgment we deserved. We thank you that your judgments are not because you are a vindictive God, but because you are a loving God who wants to see your people walk in their full potential and get all that you have planned for us to have. We take this opportunity to start over today. Right now, we lay our rebellion and issues at your feet. We humbly ask to trade our ashes for your beauty, our heavy yokes for the light yoke of Jesus Christ. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.